So this is how to time your 3304. Um, you got balance shafts, one on each side. Um, it's on top dead center, number one. Um, I know this because I just put the cam in before I set the front cover and everything on it. And um, I left it alone. Number one piston's all the way up. Um, so the block is threaded and your adapter plate here is, is there's no threads in this part. This is just a, just a hole. So there's a little, a little cutout inside the, um, balance shafts on each side. And what you do is you thread this in all the way into the balance shaft and you lock them in place. You can't rotate them. Once they're locked in place, you're ready to install your oil pump. And your oil pump is what times, well, it's, it's what keeps your balance shafts in time. Um, so you got the idler gear on the oil pump, drives off the crankshaft gear, and it touches the, I guess this would be, we'll just call it the left side, however you want to look at it. It turns this gear and then the actual oil pump gear rides on the right side balance shaft. Um, but that's how you time it if you have these out of time. They will shake and vibrate. I've heard stories, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, and also don't forget, um, this is your sump. So if you're on like a steep hill and your sump is, you know, drive oil, the oil pump, this is the scavenge, scavenge sump, I guess you would say. Um, it sits down in there on top of this intermediate plate. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm gonna set my oil pump on there and then I'm gonna bolt my sump up and I'm gonna flip it over and um, throw my cylinder head on it and everything should be good at that point. So that's how you time it, super easy. Two bolts, um, no special tools needed.